Welcome to week 3 lesson of S1 Graphic Communication, the unit on one point perspective. In the last few weeks we have been learning how to do one point perspective cubes, we have been learning how to do one point perspective cubes with holes in them and today we are going to carry that on. So having a quick recap of what we did in the previous weeks. In the first week this is what we managed to, to achieve. We created um, a series of cubes or rectangular um, shapes where they're all going back to vanishing point in one point perspective. And I was looking for you to try to create maybe eight shapes on that worksheet. During week two's lesson, we built upon that, starting again with the basic shape in each case, but then thinking about them being hollow. So having a rectangle drawn inside that, and then taking the corner back to the vanishing point. In some cases, where the box wasn't that deep, you would see the back of the shape as well, but if the box had quite a thick shape or it was quite deep, you wouldn't see the back part. So in week three, today's lesson, what we're going to do is have a go at taking it a little bit further and thinking about, instead of just being squares, starting to add a little bit more shape to them. So we're going to do, week three is going to be these letters of an L and an H. And then what we'll do is next week we'll progress a little bit further with another couple of shapes. And then in week five we'll look at you trying to do your full name in perspective. So we'll start here today with the bottom um, L shape here. So again, working in the basic principles that in perspective everything gets smaller and goes back to the vanishing point. So what I'm going to do for this shape here is I'm going to take each of the corners, so there's more than the four this time, all back to the vanishing point. So lightly take each of the shapes, each of the corners, back to the vanishing point. So that's one, two, three, four, and the last one, five. I won't bother with the back one. So straight away, as soon as I do that, this looks like this L shape. It almost looks like a beam going all the way back to the vanishing point. So now what I want to do is decide upon a depth and I'm going to start on this top line here. Now I'm going to come along and I'm going to set my depth as about here where I put that little dot. And the way we work on this one is that whatever happens on the shape at the front will be what happens in the shape at the back. So if this was at the front here, it goes horizontally straight across to the next point. So where my shape was there, it goes horizontally straight across to the next point. From that point at the front, if you look at it, it went straight down to this line. So on the shape at the back, from that point, it goes straight down to the next line. And then thinking about what it did at the front at that point, it goes horizontally straight across again to this line. So I'm going to draw a line from here, going horizontally across here. And then to complete the shape at the front, it goes vertically down, so I'm going to draw a line vertically down from here also. So just using my ruler, take a line down. So that's me got the back shape of it. All I have to do now is darken in some of the edges so that it stands out a little bit better. And there you can see we have our first shape. Now, the one in the bottom left is the easiest of the two L's to do because the back of it is a little bit simpler. So the one up here in the top corner, uh, top left corner, is a little bit more challenging. So I'll start with that one now. So each of the corners, again, to the vanishing point. All the ones that you can see, which are that one, that one and that one. And this is where this one's a little bit different. I'm also going to take this one here back to the vanishing point. Although most of it won't be seen, it's going to help me draw the shape. Okay, so once again, thinking about what happens at start. So I'm going to start here at this point here, and I'm going to decide upon my depth. I'm going to come out to about here. This is going to be my depth. So again, following what happens on the L at the front is going to be the same as what happens here. So this point here goes horizontally across to meet this line. So from my point here, I'm going to go horizontally across to meet the line. So if I just take that line horizontally across, using my ruler to meet the line, I'll darken that in just so you can see what I've done. OK. 
Okay. Then at the front, you can see what happens is it goes straight up from that point to meet this line. So make sure I know what that line is there. So it goes straight up to meet that line. Again, I'll darken that in so you can see it. So that's a good part of the L dump. Now on the front, it then goes along to here, to this point here, which is this line which I drew in. Now this isn't going to be visible. You wouldn't see this because it'll be hidden behind the block. So all I'm doing is taking it lightly across to meet that line. Okay, so where that line continues down, I've came horizontally across. And the whole point for doing this is, we now take that line up. Again, the first part of it isn't going to be visible, but the top part of it is visible. And that is to get the end of the L. So if I now darken in that shape there, there is my finished L shape. So this little bit here, and this little bit here isn't visible because it's behind this bit of the block. So that one's a bit more complicated. So let's hope you can, you can manage to draw that one. So we'll move on now to the H's. Following the same principle, except this time there's going to be more corners. So again, taking back each of the edges, each of the corners, back to the vanishing point. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bottom here of the H, this one, and this part here. So there is all of my corners going back, and straight away you can see that. I'm going to decide upon a depth. I'm going to do it about here, and I'll do whatever happens here. I'm going to decide there. So what happens at the top here? It goes horizontal across, and you can see that these two are in line with each other. So what I'm going to do is draw my lines in here, in between there and there, in line with each other. I'll darken in so that that stands out. Okay, so we're almost finished with this one. The only line that I have missing is, is this one at the front here comes along, it then goes down to this line here. So what I'm going to have is a little part of a line at the back here. And then the last bit is, these little edges here, I'm not going to see where they finish, so I'm just going to have them darkened in until they hit the other part of the object. Like that. And that is my finished letter H. All you're going to do is have a go at that again with the top one. Bring in each of the corners. Down to the vanishing point. And once again, you're going to take these two extra points where the back of the H is. You might not see much of those ones, so I'll just do a little bit of a line. Despite the point of depth, Take that line horizontally across between the two sections for the bottom of the H, like so. Darken in what's visible, like so. And what I'll have here is a line here for this part of the H, here for this part of the H, here. Here. So there are my letter L's and my letter H's. Once again, same as we've done in previous weeks, I'd like you to take colour pencils if you have them and add a little colour to each of those shapes. Thinking about maybe which ones will get more light, which ones will get less light, thinking about that so some of the surfaces might be a little bit darker than the others, or you can just colour it in. So if I take my bottom L here, okay, I can do that. If I really wanted to be fancy, I could take my blue pencil and go around all the outer edges to make it stand out a little bit better. do that. 
that to make it stand out. And then I'd like you to do the same to the other three. And as in previous weeks, I'd like you to try and go, have a go at adding a few more. Now you won't be able to fit probably four more in, but you might be able to fit maybe another L in this space here or this space up here, and then maybe another H in this space over here. So I'd like you to see having a go at trying to draw another sh couple of shapes onto that. As before, when you finish your worksheet, could you add your name to it? Could you take a photograph of it on your, maybe your mobile phone? And then could you upload that back to the, the teacher who set you the assignment? That way we can record that you've completed your work. So that is the end of uh, worksheet three, week three in One Point Perspective. Uh, next week we'll be moving on to a couple of other letters and we'll see you next week. Okay, good luck and enjoy.